PG-13, right? It was a bikini. Hi everyone, my name is Brian. I'm 29 years old this year and I'm a balloon artist. I have been doing balloon sculpturing for about, I think close to 10 years now. I found myself to be quite creative in nature, but I cannot draw. One very vivid memory of mine was that when I was attending some family day, then I saw a balloon artist. So that's how the idea came about and, and that's how I was like, okay, um, let, me, let me give it a try. For some reason, with this line of, of balloon, I was able to just kind of kung fu with it. It felt very, very natural. I didn't feel anything unnatural about uh, bending it and, and shaping it, you know, like, you know, and yeah, so, so that, that's really how, how it started for me. And uh, that, that's why, you know, of all the artistic roots, uh, I, I chose balloons. Uh, yeah. A standard, like, robot kind of thing will be something like this. Oh. One of my most memorable moments okay, uh, in this career was when I received my Certified Balloon Artist Certification, so short form is CBA. Now, this certification is actually, I would say, it could be controversial in nature, okay, in the sense that you do not need to go to an art school to be an artist, correct? But having the fundamentals of brush strokes and, and, and colour combinations do help the artwork to some extent and to me you know as as a profession you know as, as a paid uh, artist i believe that it is probably the right thing to do you know that to let my clients know that okay uh, at the very least uh, i have traveled to texas to do my certification you know uh, there is a board uh, that certifies us and they felt that my skills were worthy uh, to receive this la. yeah um, in, in Singapore I think there's about less than 20 of us so for events uh, well predominantly they're divided into public and, and private events so for public events uh, we're looking at things like you know your marathons standard la, like family days and RCs things like that if you look at private events can be as small as like a birthday party those uh, staff appreciation day those are my favourite because you know for staff uh, they're like, you know, our age, they appreciate this and uh, for me, I always love making balloons for like, uh, you know, slightly uh, older crowd in general, yeah. One of the, I would say, the most memorable events that I did was actually with Genting. So for this, uh, really fantastic, uh, they invited me to, to go up, uh, to perform. So that was really, I would say, like, probably one of the, the greatest highlights of my career. I was on a billboard and I was like, wow, that's like pretty amazing. Other events was with one of the most renowned balloon artists uh, in Singapore, uh, Miss uh, Lily Tan, uh, did like a super giant balloon. It's a robot and it was called the Sentinel. Yeah, so it was really big. It was in Marina Square, so that it was like all the way to the ceiling. Yeah, they had to bring the cranes in to like anchor it to, to the top. La. There was one uh, engagement where I was hired uh, at a club. So this was like pre-COVID and this was really fun because uh, the theme of the club was Mad Hatters kind of thing. So predominantly I had to make balloon hats but I think we all know club being a club, you know, you do get some strange requests, you know, every now and then. For me, I am okay to do the strange request. PG-13, right? It was a bikini. Ah, very interesting one. Uh, I made a beer mug with bubbles. With like foam, yeah. So it's just like a you know little mark kind of thing. Then I just put the the bubbles there at the top, yeah. That is that's interesting, yeah. Because the kids don't ask for beer marks and yeah, whatever I just said. <laughs> when I meet new people and I tell them, you know, that oh yes, I'm a balloon artist, or you know, this is something that I've pursued throughout the years, I think a lot of people's reaction is like, so you are a clown, and I'm like. Do I look like a clown? No, no offense to clowns. I think uh, you know a lot of the techniques that we use today in balloons are actually discovered, you know, by by uh, very prominent clowns in history. But um, that is a very common reaction, and it's still one that I still get up to today. But um, for me, I, I I try to portray myself not so much like an entertainer, you know, like a clown, uh, but more of an, an artist role, and, and hence uh, that's why uh, artists when they paint, they have an apron, and, and likewise that's where the apron inspiration came from. Yeah. If I could say one thing that was really interesting that I only did once till today, okay, was that there was this dance production. So they were doing a performance of Alice in Wonderland. Okay, and they hired me to do the props. To, to see the balloons used in a production, kind of like a theatre setting, is something that was really exciting for me. For me, in my younger days, when I was a child, uh, I didn't really get much exposure to balloons. La. So maybe like, just didn't really go to the places where you know balloon artists frequent. So I guess, it is quite personal for me in the sense that uh, you know when I, when I do these creations, I, I give them to people. 
I guess it's quite sad also lah, you know, like didn't get it. But you know, I do want other people to to, to be able to get this experience, and to me, uh, that is really uh, the most fulfilling part of this job lah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm a balloon artist. This is why I do what I do.